Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Sheltenham Racecourse here in day one of the festival. It is Tuesday, the 15th of March, 2022. We're going to look at all the races on today's program from Sheltenham, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Uh, some great races, um, you know, this week at Sheltenham, so uh, join me all week for those um, previews and selections. But uh, we have seven races to look at on today's program from Sheltenham them races um you know, one through seven the you know you have the champion hurdle at 3 30 it looks like it's going to be an exciting card and i think you can make some money with some of these races so let's get to it right now starting off with the 130 the first race from Sheltonham, which is the grade one supreme novices hurdle it's a grade one event for class one horses going for a purse of one hundred eighty-two thousand five hundred dollars race for novice four-year-olds and upwards we have a field of nine horses entered to go the distance of ground of 3200 meters or two miles over the hurdle course it's going to be rated good to soft or yielding so just keep that in mind my top selection i'm gonna go with the four horse john bond i'm gonna go four three two in the tri cash trifecta and i give trifectas or tri cast out because basically that's my top three uh but my top selection you can use them in any combinations you, you want but um i like playing you know some of the place pots also uh especially at the festival where the pools are massive so i'm um, just uh, you know i'm gonna talk about a few horses in some of the races but uh four three two tri cast trifecta that's the top three basically the top selections of four horse john Bond, six year old gallon by walk in the park in Coleman's on this one for Nikki Henderson. The horse's most recent outing came 22nd of January at Haydock on uh, soft ground, two miles in the grade to uh, Rossington, Maine, a novice's hurdle. And the horse went by three lengths, even with the high weight. This horse just jumped very nicely, quickened up nicely. You know, it was a very good race on demanding ground. Coming here off a little bit of refreshing, back to yielding ground, which I think is in his wheelhouse. I think he's on the improve to really improve to run a good race here today. Two back of the horse ran at Ascot the 17th of December, two miles in the grade to Howden Kennel Gate, novice's hurdle. And he won by two and three quarter lengths. That was probably his best race lifetime. He settled well in the early stages of the race. He jumped well, and most importantly, he had a great kickoff late. He jumped well, an all around easy, easy race there. First time graded stakes quality horses. And then a Newberry in the 26th of November, seasonal reappearance, two miles in National Hunt main hurdle. He won by six lengths, and you know, he wasn't 100% fresh early on, not at the fluidest early on, but he settled well late in the stages, and he got the job done. He's really been on the improve, off a little bit of a break, back to yield and ground. I think a Four to one, he's a very likely winner. Don't throw out the th the three horse to start Dynamo. Paul Townsend's on this one for Willie Mullins. Um, most recently, Punches Town in the Moscow Flyer Novice Hurdle. He won by 19 and put on a show that day on very soft ground. Um, you know his races over the. Um, hurdles the two of them have been very easily won coming here today you know the irish have done very well at the festival especially the last few years it seems um you know don't don't uh, sleep on this horse at two to one but to recap my selection for the first 230 from Sheltonham, it's the grade one supreme novices hurdle let's take the four horse john bond as a top selection give kudos to the three horse dice art dynamo four three two try cash trifecta let's go four three in the place pot let's get to the second from Sheltonham. The 210, the second race from Sheltonham. It is the Grade 1 Arkle Challenge Trophy Novices Chase. It's a Grade 1 event for Class 1 horses going for a purse of $246,000. Races for novice 5 year olds and upwards. We have 11 horses entered to go the distance of ground of 3,200 meters or 2 miles over the chase course. I'm going to take the number 2 horse, Brave Siska, as a top selection. We'll go 241 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. 241 Tri Cash Trifecta, top selection of 2 horse, Brave. Brave Siska, this Semiro gelding by Brave Mason, and um, Charlie Deutsch is on this one from Venetia Williams. The horse is most recent, and came to the 12th of February, Warwick, two miles in the grade two, Kingmaker, Novices Chase, and the horse finished third by five in their quarter lengths, and, you know, he just wasn't getting the good momentum late. I don't know if he really liked to win Canton. He just lacked a good turn of foot. It wasn't his day to win. Coming here to Shelton, where the Venetia Williams horses always seem to fire, it's, um, you know, I think the horse could really run a good race here today if you take that race out his season hasn't been half bad at all. Before then, the great two, in, a, in a class two handicap chase at Warwick, two miles January the fifteenth, he won by seven and put on a show that day. Even with a low weight, he just jumped well and kept going. An all-around easy race. And then at Ascot, two miles and eighth in a novice limited handicap chase class three event, winning by three lengths again. He won for fun. He is stepping up in class here today, but his numbers are right up to par with some of these horses. And, and you know, I think that should really 
prove to him to that he could run a really good race um you know before that he won a war in early december very easily by nearly a dozen with a ginormous weight on his back could have probably won by more but was getting eased up probably would have won by 16 but coming here today off some decent runs runs at 20 to 1 i'm going to use him you also have to use the four horse here edward stone the seat year gelding by cave tara tom cans on the sword for alan king most recently they ran the horse in the kingmaker where he won by four and a half lengths and at 91 cents of the dollar he was just floating over the fences and all around easy run for him before that he won the wayward last at kempton right after christmas and won the henry the seventh at uh, sandown very very easily also coming here to shell them off some decent runs at five to two he's another very likely winner so we'll use him in the uh, place pot but to recap my selection for the second the 210 from shell it's the grade one arkle challenge trophy novices chase let's take the two horse brave seska's top selection give kudos to the four horse edward stone two four one try cash trifecta two four in your place pot to the third event the 250 the third race from Sheldon it is the grade 3 Ultima handicap chase it's a grade 3 event for class 1 horses going for a purse of $169,000 races for 5 year olds and upwards we have a field of 24 horses entered to go the distance of ground here of 5,000 meters or the distance of ground of 3 miles and 1 eighth over the chase course it's a very wide open race with 24 horses, and I would just look very, very silly giving out a tri cast in race. So I'm going to give you two horses I think can win. You could use them in, uh, you know, exact to forecast combinations, but most definitely use them both in the play spot. Um, my, if I had to give you a top selection, it would be the three horse, Does He Know? I would go 316. That would be my top two in the uh, wagering. 316. The top selection of three horse, Does He Know? The several old here. David Bass is on this one for Kim Bailey. The horse's most recent out, came in 19th of February at Ask got soft ground three miles in the gray two reynolds town novices chase and the horse went by 14 lengths they took the headgear off two back which was a key for success for this horse that day he had a very high weight but he settled well he jumped well quick enough nicely and he got the job done off the little bit of refreshing coming here second off the bench properly handicapped i think for this spot a little bit of a longer trip i think he could really win a good race shout them is the kind of horse for course kind of course and, uh, you, you know, he, horses that love it, love it here. He loves it here because the two back, um, he, he didn't win, but he ran a very good second place finish in a class. You know, I was chasing November over the three miles. He finished second by four and a half lengths. The ground was just a little bit too fast for him, but he, you know, he jumped well and the winner just got away from him late, but nothing bad about that race. And then in October here at Sheldon, three miles in a class, do not have chase winning by a dozen lengths. Again, he just loved it, loved it, loved it. Coming here today off some decent form, second off the bench, which he should be a lot fresher. I think it's Six twenty, he's sitting on a massive, massive run. The 16-horse Kiltaley Briggs is her second likeliest winner, I think. Adrian Haskins on this one for Jamie Snowden. Most recently, they ran the horse in a class 2 novice chase at Musselsboro. Two and a half miles on the 5th of February. And good ground that day. He won by a half length. It was a little bit of high weight on him. You know, it wasn't the grittiest. It wasn't the, um, you know, the uh, easiest victories. It was a little gritty that day. But he settled well. He, he jumped well. And he got the job done. A little bit of a longer trip should suit him well. A little given the ground should also suit him well. And I think he's sitting on a very good run. Also getting a good weight of 143 pounds. Two back in the Quota, star and officer chase a Kempton over the three miles. He finished third by 18 lengths, and he was just facing a little bit too tough competition. His wheels were spinning. It just wasn't his day to win. But then before that, the two miles, six furlongs, and a class two novice chase at Haydock. Very demanding ground. Winning by a neck. He was under the drive, but he was excelling that day. Coming here, I think at 20 to 1, he's another very likely winner. Definite use in your place pot. But to recap my selection for the 250, the third race from Shelton, it's the grade three ultimate handicap chase. Let's take the three horse. Does he know? Give kudos to the 16 horse Kit Tilly Briggs. 316 forecast exact. 316 both in the place pot. Let's get to the feature fourth race at 330 from Cheltenham. The 330, the fourth race from Sheldon. It's the Grade 1 Unibet Champion Hurdle. It's a Grade 1 event for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $607,500. Race for 4-year-olds and upwards. We have the field of 10 horses, going 3,200 meters or 2 miles over the hurdle course. As a top selection here, I'm going to go with the one horse, Adagio, as a top selection. We'll go 110-2 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 110-2, Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, one horse, Adagio. This 5-year-old gelling by Wiener Waltzer here. Um, Tom Scudamore is on this one for David Pipe. The horse is most recent out and came in the grade two Kingwell hurdle at Wincant. And over the mile seven eighths on the 19th of February, he finished second by one and three quarter lengths. He just wasn't a hundred percent cranked up that day. You know, a little bit, um, 
lackadaisical, but he, he, he did stay the trip well, but he, he just needed that extra turn of foot late. Coming here, you know, second off the bench to Sheltonham, where he ran decently last season in the uh, in the triumph hurdle, I think he could really improve off that run. He's run decently here, but it's been a while since he's got the victory locally. Um, two back here, he ran here on the 14th of November at Sheltonham, two miles in the grade three, great wood handicap hurdle. He finished second by three quarters in length. He just lacked a little bit of a turn of foot late, but he was just carrying a high weight that day. The, the winner was carrying um, 13 less pounds on him and got the job done. But this horse, he was jumping well early on, but just off the bench with that high weight, he needed the run there. And then an entry last um, April um, over the hurdles uh, in the grade one four-year-old juvenile hurdle. He finished second by seven and a half lengths. He was on the drive. It took him a little bit of time to get going, but I, 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 he showed potential that day. And then last year at the festival in the triumph hurdle, he finished second by three and a quarter lengths. And again, the, the winner just really freaked that day. But this horse, again, was jumping well. Not Nothing bad about that race. He's going to see yielding ground today. Again, he likes running here. He's, he's been the bridesmaid recently running here, but not for the bride. I think he could turn the, the tables here today. At 15 to 1, we're going to use him. You can't throw out the great mare either. The 10 horse, Honeysuckle, the 8 year old mare. Um, Rachel Blackmore's on this one for Henry the Broomhead. Um, most recently won the Irish Champion Hurdle. Before that, the Hatton Grace. And before that, the I the um, Champion Hurdle, Punchestown, won this race last year very easily. But she's been 20 cents to the dollar last time out. Two back, 40 cents to the dollar. 57 cents to the dollar. And then you got value at Sheldon last year. She was just over evens. But um, she's going to get very heavy bet today. And I think this race is a lot tougher than she, tougher horses than she's been facing in the last few years, and I think this is going to be her biggest challenge. At 3-5, to five, I'm a little worried with her. I think Adagio is on the up-and-up, up, and I think he's sitting on a very good run. If there's also another horse that could possibly upset here, it would be the two horse appreciate it. Paul Town and Willie Mullins um, trains this one. Uh, the eight-year-old gone by Jeremy. Uh, most recently, the horse won here last season the Supreme Novice Hurdle, but hasn't been seen since then. So, um, But if you go off of his form, some of his races in 2020, 2021, he's a, you know, he's a decent horse, but off the the bench, you know, can a horse win one year off the bench? That's going to be the biggest question with him. I do prefer the other two, but weirder things have happened at Sh Sheldonham. But to recap my selection for the 330, the fourth race from Sheldonham, it's the grade one champion hurdle. Let's take the one horse Adagio as the top selection. Look at kudos to the 10 horse Honeysuckle. 110 2, try cash trifecta. Let's go 110 in the place pot. Let's get to the fifth race, the 410. The 410 from Sheltonham, the fifth race. It's the Grade 1 Close Brothers Mares Hurdle. It's a Grade 1 event for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $162,000, race for four olds and upwards, Phillies Mares only. We have a field of 12 horses going the distance of ground of 4,000 meters or two and a half miles over the hurdle course. As a top selection, I'm going to go take the 10 horse Stormia Ireland. We'll go 10 to 9 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. 10 to 9 tri cash trifecta top selection of 10 horse stormy ireland eight year old mayor by motivator paul townen's on this one for willie mullins the horse's most recent out and came new year's day here at Cheltenham. two and a half miles in the grade two real kill hurdle and the horse went by two and a half lengths and put on a show that day she was just out of the gate you know basically bulldozed over the other or not well not out of the gate out of the um out of the tape um shall we say uh, this horse just kept going she jumped well she quickened up nicely and bulldozed any of her challengers that day could have won by more i thought that was a great effort coming here today back to soft ground back to sheldon where she's had a very good race back to facing the mares i think she could really improve off of that run two back she ran the, in the hatton grace hurdle at uh fairy house over the two miles and a half on the uh 20th of november she finished six by 36 likes first off the break very fast ground a little bit um you know lackadaisical that day she never jumped well she kind of hit the wall late i do think definitely she needed the race there and um before that, she ran at Down Royal over the flat, actually, and main race over the mile and a half. It's been a second by two length. She ran decently, but she's just not, uh, you know, I think a flat horse. And she got over about a 15 cents of the dollar, but that's for another day. Uh, before that, her previous race over the... Um, over the jumps was a punch town on the first of May, two and a half miles in the grade one champion hurdle. She won by seven lengths that day, and she just jumped well and got the job done in hand on fast ground. And then in, in the exchange, in, in the grade two underwriting exchange hurdle at Ferry House, two and a half miles there, and last uh, April, went by one quarter lengths. Again, she got the job done in hand. She's going to love the good to soft ground today. She has a very good weight of 159 pounds, and her, you know, she's run the fastest races out of anybody, I think, in this race. And off the bench, I think she's just. I'm going to run a good race to the point of she's going to be my best by the day at 5 to 1. So, to recap my selection for the 
410, the fifth race from Sheldon Limits to Grade 1, Close Brothers Mare's Hurdle. Let's take the 10 horse Stormy Ireland as the top selection. We'll go 10 2 9 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. Let's get to the 450, the sixth race from Sheldon. The 450, the sixth race from Shell Num. It's the Grade 3 Boodles Juvenile Handicap Hurdle. It's Grade 3 event for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $108,000. Races for juvenile four year olds here. We have a field of 22 horses entered to go the distance of ground of 2 miles or 3,200 meters over the hurdle course. Another very wide open race. I'm going to give you two horses I think had win. We'll definitely use them in place pot forecast combinations. And um, also, um, we do, might do a small each way on each each of them, depending on their odds. But the top selection for me would be the two horse, the tie turns. We would go 210 in the forecast exacta, 210 forecast exacta, top selection two horse, the tie turns, four year old to see the moon. Jack Kennedy's on this one for Gordon Elliott. Most recently, they ran the horse in Ireland on the 19th of February, Garen, two miles in the grade three Red Mills trial hurdle. And the horse finished fourth by 23 lengths there. And he had very, very heavy ground, which he just was not excelling on. His wheels were spinning. He never jumped well. It wasn't his dirty day to win scrap out that race coming here today good to soft um yielding ground which i think you should really like i think he can really improve off of that run if say there's a monsoon uh, an unexpected monsoon today don't bet this horse, but in good to soft ground, I think he goes up a lot further than he did last time out, where he just wasn't excelling. Two back at Leopardstown, the 5th of February, two miles in the grade one racing TV spring juvenile hurdle. He finished fourth by eight and a quarter lengths. You know, he, he jumped a oh, terrific race. He just lacked a little bit of turn of foot. You know, maybe in the future he wants a little bit longer, but he showed potential that day. And then a punches town on the 17th of January, two miles in a juvenile main hurdle, winning by three and a half lengths. An already easy, easy victory for him there. Coming here today off some two very good races over the hurdles. And that was one excuse race where he just had the, um, the heavy ground. I think he could really run a good race. And, his, you know, the race where he won and ran these good races were up to scratch to win against these horses. At 6-1, to one, we're going to use him. The 10-horse Hems Seahorse is your second likeliest winner. It's for your colt by Galileo. Uh, not, not a lot of Galileos I see over the jumps, and not a lot of colts you see over the jumps either. But I think this horse has a very live chance of winning. B.J. Cooper's on this one for Paul Nolan. Most recently, the horse ran the 9th of February at a ferry house, two miles in a juvenile main hurdle. Total. Winning by one and a quarter lengths and at 73 cents a dollar, everybody and his mother knew he was going to win that day. He just settled well, he quickened up nicely and kept going. An all around good race. He's been the kind of horse since going to the obstacles. He's really been improving with every single race. Before that, at Punchers Town on the 17th of January, two miles in a juvenile main hurdle, he finished second by two and three quarter lengths. He jumped well, he got a good run in. He just missed late, but again, nothing bad about that run. And then before that, on New Year's Eve at Punchers Town, over the mile 15 16 and a juvenile main hurdle. He finished third by 16 lengths and just couldn't get there late. A little X days early on, which cost him. But he's another horse he's been proving with every single run. Coming here today at 10 to 1, I think he's sitting on a very good run. We'll definitely use him on the ticket and the place pod. But to recount my selection for the 6, the 450 from Sheldon. It is the Grade 3 Boodles Juvenile Handicap Hurdle. Let's take the two horse to tie turns as a top selection. Give kudos to the 10 horse and the seahorse. 210 forecast exacta. We'll use the 2 and 10 both in the place pod. So good luck to all. And uh, not good luck to all. We still have the seventh race now. Forgot about that. Pardon me. So we're going to go to the seventh race, the 530 from Sheltonham now. The seventh race, the 530 from Sheldon, the finale, the nightcap here on day one of the festival. It is the Grade 2 National Hunt Challenge Cup. It's a Grade 2 event for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $169,000. Races for novice five year olds and upwards. We have a field of seven horses, going 6,000 meters or the distance of ground of three miles and three quarters over the chase course. It's for the amateur riders here. The top selection, I'm going to go with the five horse Run Wild Fred. We'll go 526 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. 526. Tri Cash Trifecta, top selection of five horse Run Wild Red Fred. This say you're going by Chanto gets caught up in the saddle for Gordon Elliott. The horse's most recent outing came the Grade One Neville Hotel's novice chase at Leopardstown, three miles on the 29th of December. And the horse finished second by eight lengths, had a little bit of a high weight, was on the drive and just not getting there. You know, I do think the horse needed the race. And also, it was a very tough race. Stepping down in class over the longer trip with this horse could settle well. I think he could really improve off of that run last time out. Two back in a handicap chase at Navin, three miles, 21st of November. He won by seven and a half lengths in that day, and he, you know, probably was 100% cranked up that day, but he settled well. He quickened up nicely and loved every bit of that good ground, an all around good race from there. And then before then, the grade three, um, Patty Power from the horse's mouth, the EBF, uh, 
uh, novice chase a quarter two and a half miles there in October finished second by 14 lengths and you know just a little lax days gold dropped an okay race uh, and then before that a fairy house three miles five eights in that uh, big chase the horse finished second by one and a quarter lengths and outran his odds that day at nine to one he just couldn't catch the winner but still ran his heart out uh, and then before that Garen last uh, January over heavy ground and being a handicap chase finishing second by four lengths again a decent decent run he's really been on the improve should like the longer trip um, step down in class two to one a very very likely winner so to recount my selection for the night camp the seventh race from Sheldon the 530 it is the grade two national hunt challenge cup for the amateur riders gonna take the five horse run wild fred 526 and the tri-cash trifecta so good luck to all remember to join me tomorrow for day two of my Sheldon previews and um, also join me the later in the week on Saturday for my Midlands Grand National preview from Utah Good luck, everybody.